Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create realistic stitches using only makeup. So this is super quick and easy, but it's guaranteed to get a few double takes. So if you guys are interested in learning a few tips and tricks just to add to your Halloween costume, or just to freak out your friends, <laughs> then keep watching. To start out, I'm going in with a red eyeshadow as a base to resemble irritation and infection. The one that I'm using is by Ben Nye in Flame Red, but any red will do. Now I'm grabbing an eyeliner marker and drawing a line where I want the cut to go. You want this to look as natural as possible, so make sure that you're not just drawing a straight line. The same thing goes for the stitches. You don't want it to look perfect, so make sure that the lines are unevenly spread apart and they slightly curve in different directions. It also helps to add a dot at the end of each line to mimic the knots that are tied to keep the stitch in place. You want it to look like more of a botched job, as if it wasn't done by a professional. Those make for the coolest effects because who cares about a clean sew job? Nami. Now I'm going in with the Monster Wheel by Ben Nye, so I'm just going to grab that center white shade to start highlighting. This gives the illusion that the skin is raised and pinched together in the center. I'm dipping my brush back into the red eyeshadow to deepen the irritation and spread it out a little further in certain areas. This is just going to make it look more sporadic and natural. Going in with a deeper burgundy shade, I'm just carefully going over top of those dots that we made at the ends of the stitches. This helps to show a deeper irritation in the areas where the skin is being pierced to close up the wound. This is really graphic. I dust a little more of that shadow randomly to tone down those highlights, and then I'm going back in with that marker to draw the ends of each knot where the thread would be cut. The highlight wasn't standing out as much as I wanted it to, so I went back in with that white shade from the monster wheel, and this time I overdid it, so I'll tone that down later. Now I'm grabbing fresh scab blood on a pointed cube tip and carefully layering this over the center cut randomly to show depth. This just gives the illusion that the cut is deeper in certain areas. I'm also adding this to the end of each stitch to further drive home the fact that this was sewn up very quickly and very painfully. I'm going back in and spreading out that white to give it a more natural highlight. Then I'm going back in with my final layer of that burgundy color to make sure that it's as infected as possible. Now it wouldn't be a good special effects look without some stage blood. This stuff is sticky as hell and gets everywhere if you're not careful. So as you're doing the drips, make sure that you have a q-tip in hand to help guide the drip where you want it to go. You can get this fake blood on Amazon, I'll have all the products linked down below for you guys, but if you don't want to commit to buying a full jar of this, you can always make your own. I think all you have to use is corn syrup, cornstarch, and food dyes, so just google it. The stitches were looking a little lackluster, so I just went back in with some black paint to make them pop. Now I'm just adding a few final touch-ups and we're good to go. If you guys love this look, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below and also let me know what other looks you guys want to see for Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative. <laughs>